Hello friends and welcome to Saturday. I have had a very slow start to the morning. It's about noon and I woke up at like 10 and so I kind of just relaxed, ate breakfast, I did a tiny bit of yoga and took a shower. But I thought I'd bring you along for the weekend. I know a lot of you guys like the vlogs and so I wanted to do more of them for you. But today we are gonna go shopping. I like making these like Easter treats. They're called like I don't know if there is a name for them. They're like Easter baskets, but it's like candy. It's not candy, it's chocolate. I'll show you when we make them. But yeah, we're gonna go do that and do some baking. And then this afternoon, I really wanna play some Valorant. I think I've fallen back into an addiction with Valorant. But it's not even like, it's just because the game is fun. It's because I just wanna get better at it. And like grind the ranks of it. My competitive side has been coming out is what I'm trying to say. And then we also have a book on the way. I read Dance of Thieves um, a tiny bit ago. I tried to do a reading vlog of it but I ended up just not liking how it turned out. So we have the second book and it's called A Vow of Thieves instead of Dance of Thieves. The second book. And it's really good and so that should be coming today as well and i'll show you the other book i'm reading too it's i can't even think of the name of it it's in another room so i'll have to go grab it and show you guys but yeah it's gonna be a cozy saturday full of baking gaming and just relaxation and i don't think i mentioned this but tomorrow's easter and that's why i'm doing the little like easter basket things <laughs> but yeah let's go to the store Hello, we are back from the store. I don't know exactly how to explain how to make these, except for you melt chocolate and mix everything all together and add little eggs on top. So I'm just going to do a time lapse for you guys of me cooking it and I'll show you how it looks at the end. <laughs> done for the most part. I had to put them in the fridge so that they can harden like the chocolate and stuff. <clears throat> but pretty much what it is is it's melted chocolate in two layers. So like a dark chocolate and a white chocolate necessarily. And you put shredded wheat in it and stuff so it looks like little easter egg baskets. And then you put the little easter eggs on top. And once they are done and I pull them out I will show you guys and stuff like that. But for right now we are gonna grind some Valorant with friends. And yeah, just hang out and do that for a little while. Hello friends, it is a little later now. I played games with friends until about five o'clock and then I took a small nap because I was really tired. Um, and had some dinner. So now we're here now. And I wanted to talk to you guys about the books. So the book I am currently reading, I have to cover it up a little bit because library, but it's called The Wilderness of Stars. And I'm about, let's see, I'm about 120 pages into it. And it's okay. I don't know if any of you guys have read this book, but at the point that I'm at now, I'm really not loving it. So I'm gonna try and read some more of it tonight and see how I feel about it. But overall, not my favorite book that I've read so far. It's kind of seems repetitive with like the chapters and stuff like that. Okay, I'm just gonna read you guys the like a section of the front of it to explain it. 
So it's about a girl named Vega who lived in a valley her whole life, forbidden by her mother to leave the safety of the borders because of the unknown threats awaiting her in the wild but um, in the wild beyond, Jesus. <laughs> um, but Vega has a secret. She is the last astronomer, a title carried from generation to generation, and she is the only one who knows and understands the knowledge of stars. Knowledge that can hold a key to a cure. So when locals spot a tattoo on Vega's neck in the shape of a constellation, the mark of the astronomer, chaos erupts. Fearing for her life, Vega is rescued by a girl named Cricket who leads her to Noah, a boy marked by his own mysterious tattoos. And so pretty much the threat that is happening is there is a, like, plague. It's a really bad sickness going on. Um, and so that's pretty much the the plot of it. And it seems really good, but I'm just not a fan of it. Like, it's not bad, but it's not also drawing me back to keep reading it, if that makes sense. Like, I love books where you can get extremely immersed in it. And it's just not doing that. Also, my book that I ordered isn't here yet. It said it was supposed to be here earlier, but it's not. So what I'm going to do the rest of the night is I'm going to try and keep reading this book a little bit. See if I like it. If I read another like 50 pages and I'm still not feeling it, then I honestly might DNF it. Which means do not finish. Um, and just wait until Vow of Thieves comes and reads that because... I really like the first book of that, and I know I'll probably like the second one, and, like, I already know the characters and stuff like that, so I'll probably just read that, but, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That this is where I'm going to end this vlog so thank you guys so so much for watching if you guys would like to see any like book vlogs where I'm specifically like going through talking about the books I'm reading maybe doing like a little book journal because I kind of want to start that I kind of want to get into bullet journaling so if that's something you're interested in please let me know thank you so much for being here and watching and yeah I'll update you guys on if I finish this book if I decide to DNF it um but yeah Thank you guys. Goodbye.